years ago. But those, these burrowing owls have done a wonderful job because right here, this is the Gila River. We uh -huh. butt up next to it. Um, and it, we have a problem with gophers washing things out. And when Wild at Heart wanted to find a place to relocate some owls, I jumped on it. So we dug a hole eight foot by 12 foot, put four or five gallon buckets in the bottom, drilled some holes in it, put sure. a type tube on the way out, buried it back, put some rock. And anywhere where there's a stake, and now they're not active there's right been, now because they come out at dusk. But you come down here at dusk, there's two or three that might pop up, see what you're doing. But, oh, I see. but it's just something that, again, it was a project. It's a conservation project. We're not out here trying to spray and kill every bug and oh, kill everybody. Yeah. We're not months. Farmers sometimes get a bad rap because everyone thinks we're just spraying and ruining the environment. No, we got to work with it because if we ruin it, you're done. Yeah, everybody's done. So, and so trying to find the balance between the wildlife, trying to find a home for everything. But this has been a huge asset because they take care of the gopher problem. <laughs> yeah, no. they yeah, they will. So I'm not having to poison them. I'm not having to trap them. These owls do a wonderful job taking care of a gopher problem. It's a win-win. Yeah. So. Uh, and this is a viable uh, breeding population of adults? I, I, I guess. I'm not. That would be a question for the gentleman with Wild at Heart. But what they do is they link up um, each hole is a male and female. So imagine a big tent over these four holes right here. Right. And so for 30 days, my son had the job and we, they bring us frozen mice. We dethaw them. And so every other day we get this box of frozen mice, mice from FedEx. And so we put 50 of them um, on, a, on a piece of wood and we slide underneath the tent. And they would fly down, come down, grab them. You know the term, terminology rat holing? Yeah. Well, if they rat hole enough of their little rats, they won't leave. Because Makes sense. And so they're taking, so for a month we're feeding them 10, 15 extra mice than what they need. And they're putting them down there in a bucket. So when we take down the tent, they're not leaving because they have so much food stored down in there. So that's where the term rat hole comes from. There you go. Burrowing owls. I'll be darned. Things you learn at Poco Bueno. <laughs> I, yeah.